Hello, I am Prabhu Rajagopal, a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Madras. So it gives me a lot of joy and pride today in introducing this robot called Homosep that we are now just about to launch into the field. So a background to this is that I am a, basically an inspection engineer and I focus on remote inspection of structures. It is in this context that now about seven or eight years ago we had developed a robot for inspection of water and sewer pipes. In the process of taking this to the field when we were discussing with the various stakeholders we came in touch with the Safai Karamchari Andolan which is uh, focused on eliminating manual scavenging. It's an NGO based out of Delhi but with branches all over India. We learned that actually the problem is even more acute in septic tanks where even today human beings are going in to clean and to homogenize the contents and in the process losing their lives and um, also facing uh, drastic challenges such as losing eyesight or losing nails or hair for example. So we started working on this solution. We came up with a one first robot that could go inside septic tanks and get a view. This was called the Sepoy robot. But then when we showed this to the Safai Karamcharis, they felt that something more needs to be done because the, this robot will only give views, but we also need to homogenize. So it is at this point that uh, the dual degree student called Divanshu Kumar joined me. He wanted to work on a socially relevant problem. And we offered, I offered this as a possible area where he could work on. And uh, we then again interacted with the Safai Karamcharis the you know the very uh, drastic practical stories and uh, you know the it is actually real life experiences from them really made an impact upon us and on divanshu as well and uh, he came up with the first demonstration of this robot that was a standalone solution and could homogenize in a heavy duty manner the contents of septic tank in the process we had to do a few innovations we had to come up with our own um, septic tank mimicking material which was also tested in IIT Madras in Professor Abhijit uh, Deshpande's laboratory, rheology laboratory. Then we had to come up with a mechanism to homogenize the contents which uh, is now patent protected. We filed for a couple of and we also got a couple of design IPs as well. Now once we did the first demonstration the interest of the industry and society uh, has just been explosive over the years we have uh, we have received uh, support from a number of csr agencies initially gale and capgemini foundation uh, supported the further development and you know field deployment of this solution this was in 2020 21 when at the height of the pandemic we innovated a lot we had to struggle with uh, uh, people being sent away home and all that so our students worked in a distributed manner and came up with the next prototype over the last year we have received for support from LNT Technology Foundation and uh, NSE Foundation to make and distribute 10 of these units. Today we have just completed the distribution of two units. Uh, both of them have gone to Safai Karamchari cooperatives which are formed by widows of those who have lost their uh, husbands to this, uh, uh, to this uh, tragic practice as such and we are now in the process of distributing several more. This project is a very unique example where a university team joins hands with an NGO for solving a very socially relevant practical problem and with the help of industry CSR scales the solution and finally in partnership with the startup is able to deliver the product to the field. So today we have a, a partnership with IIT Madras incubated startup called Solinas who's, uh, which is now headed by Divanshu who was my dual degree student earlier developing this product. Uh, so it all in all it's a, uh, it's a matter of deep pride and joy to me that we have been able to catalyze this problem and we hope that and we are sure that this is going to make a very strong positive impact on the field not only for the technological innovation but also the innovation in terms of how we are going to deliver this solution because we want to partner with the Safai Karamchari agencies, uh, cooperatives and they are the primary owners so they, it is at no cost to them and they can uh, build their revenues and business on this but the solution is developed with the help of government industry CSR funding by a startup and delivered to them uh, where we as IIT Madras are catalyzing and overseeing the whole process. Thank you.